MSI Gaming X 1660. We're going to find out if it can play some games and if it's worth the $250. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Thank you for joining me once again. I want to thank all my recent subscribers. If you enjoy my content, please remember to like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. Now, today we're going to be talking about the MSI Gaming X 1660 graphics card. Now, this is the graphics card that it's right below the RTX cards. You're going to have the 1660, 1660 Ti before you get to things like the RTX 2060. An important thing to note here is that this is a GTX card and not RTX. So basically, right off the bat, just be aware that you're not going to have ray tracing, which it's a pretty new technology, so I think you should be okay. We're going to talk about three main aspects of this card. First is performance, second is going to be the value for your money, and then third is going to be the aesthetics. So let's first tackle performance. Now right off the bat, this is a 1080p card. It really performs well at this resolution for the price. You can also use it in 1440p, but you're going to be pushing it a little bit. And I did try it just for fun in 4K to see what would happen. And the results were, well, not terrible. I definitely wouldn't recommend it at all for 4K. Um, it was playable in some games. In a lot of games on like high settings, you're going to be probably between 20 to 40 FPS you're gonna be well under that 60 frames per second that you wanna have for a really nice gaming experience. So while yes, you can play at 4K on this, um, you know, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. If you up those settings to high or ultra, you're gonna be getting like seven or 10 FPS. You have to play really on low to be able to get anything playable. So 4K, skip this card. 1440p, you can get some pretty decent performance. In most games, you're probably going to be around that 60 to 100 FPS mark. Um, and now 1080p is where this game really, really shines. I think this is definitely going to be the sweet spot for this. In terms of performance, this card is going to give you more performance than last generation's 1060, um, which is pretty good because that wasn't a bad card. I tried a number of games with this card, and they all played really well. I tried Quake Champions, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, Borderlands 3, as well as Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and they all gave me a really good playing experience at 1080p. Obviously, if you're going to go to 1440p, you may have to lower your settings a little bit to get something playable. And once again, 4K, I would just skip it because you're going to get very low performance at higher settings. You're really going to have to put everything on low for it to work at all. If you're interested in the performance I got, I'm going to list a couple of different games that I tried it on. You know, some popular AAA titles and some games that a lot of people play. Um, and I'm going to put it pretty much almost at the maximum settings that I can for each game. Then I'm going to list the frames per second for each game. That way you'll be able to get a good idea for this card's performance. And remember, a lot of games use a similar engine that can translate into other games where it performs similarly. Um, an example of this is like Assassin's Creed Origins or Odyssey or something like that. They use very similar engines so a lot of the time like their performance is actually very similar in terms of performance this card is going to pair perfectly with something like a ryzen 3600 or even an intel 9600k but i think the 3600 is probably going to be the smart choice here for the power delivery this card is using one eight pin power connector which is expected for a card of this class um, usually only the bigger, more expensive cards are going to get sort of that dual 6-pin and 8-pin power. For the second point, let's talk about value for the money. 
At the time of this video, this card, the MSI Gaming X 1660, is roughly about $250, you know, online or Best Buy or something like that. Um, and that, that's not a bad price. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the other 1660 cards. I think this is one of the little bit beefier cards. Now, there are a couple of other GPUs to take into consideration, which kind of keep me from recommending this 100%, just because you can get a 1660 Ti now. They're going on sale. I've seen them for like 269 270 280 maybe the EVGA one. So that's pretty close. And the 1660 Ti, you're not going to get that much more performance. It's usually around 5 to 10 percent more performance but if you're only spending an extra 10 to 20 bucks it may be worth it to pick it up just so you get a little bit extra bang for your buck now the 1660 super is also going to be a little more give you a little bit more performance it's going to be under the 1660 ti so that's something also to keep in mind but this isn't a bad card for the price and especially if you can catch it on sale for a, you know even if it's 10 20 bucks off gpus usually don't drop that much i still think it's a pretty good gaming deal um, and if you don't find a 1660 ti or a 1660 super within your budget you'll be fine to go with this card as i think it's priced pretty nicely now along with the fps performance we're also going to talk about sort of the cooling performance and the noise i found this to be a pretty quiet card it only really starts to ramp up the fans when it gets really really hot and maybe if you have sort of a constricted case airflow wise but in general it stayed pretty cool sort of in the 60 to 70 c range depending on how your case airflow is um, which is you know generally very good for a card like this if you guys remember the old blower style founders edition like 1060 that would hit 83 degrees celsius all the time and that was very very hot so this one in a nice case with some good airflow you can definitely stay somewhere in the low 60 degree range which is pretty impressive they use that frozen twin fan type of technology so i think it works pretty well it's quiet and it keeps the car really cool in terms of the visual aesthetics of this card, um, I'm really happy with it. It actually feels like a much more expensive card. The back plate feels substantial and heavy and the material used is really, really good. Um, the card itself looks awesome in RGB. Anytime you have it up and running, you have the RGB effect sort of on the fan side and on the side. Um, I think they did a really good job with this. In terms of the aesthetics, you're not losing anything from going with this versus even a more expensive like 2070 or 2080. Aside from the size, which gives it a little bit more of an impressive look with one of those bigger cards, this looks really, really good aesthetically. RGB is on point. Um, the back plate feels awesome. The graphics card feels like very good build quality. Even the box you get is pretty nice. This is probably indicative of this being one of the nicer 1660 graphics cards. That's why for the most part, I think you'll be very happy with this card in terms of performance, the aesthetics, and then the value for your money. I think it's going to be on point. So I really like this card. And on the card itself, you're going to have your three display port outs and then as well as one HDMI. Um, and as I said, you can see here the build quality is substantial on this card, like the back plate. It just feels really, really good. Um, you know, the fans, the entire construction just feels like very, very high quality. It looks really cool. You can sort of see the heat pipes on the on the little side here. Um, and then here's where you have sort of your RGB effects as well as here on the fan. So overall, that's a pretty nice cooler. You know, for an entry-level graphics card like this, um, this is approaching more the mid-level graphics card, you know, because the entry-level would be maybe a 1650 or similar. Um, so this is actually really impressive build quality for the price. I was very happy with that. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy my content. Like the video, leave a comment. I'm curious if you have this particular graphics card, if you're planning to get a 1660, or let me know in the comments which GPU you may have. Remember, we have new videos every Tuesday and Friday, as well as tech news every Monday. So thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video.